So I am, I just thought I'd hop on real quick here for a live. And I was painting this little painting and I thought, you know, I think I'll do another one and I'll just do it on a live. So while I'm waiting here for whoever might catch me and show up, if not, you can watch this later. I'm gonna go ahead and tape here. I'm gonna tape my paper down because I'm gonna be using a lot of water for this, so I don't want it to warp. And this is actually the Artisto. Hold on one second, let me see if I can get this on my, so I can see your comments here. Last time I was able to get in and see your comments. And this time it doesn't look like I am, darn it. Hold on one second. That way I can answer you guys if you want to say something. Let me see if I can get logged in here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and tape my paper down. I'm just using masking tape, you guys, but really um, I use, gosh, you can use washi tape, you can use all different tape, whatever tape you have, really. I've used washi tape, I've used painter's tape. Let me see who's here. Hi from the UK, hello. Jenny Murray, hey Jenny from England, nice. Hi Julie. Julie, are you the same Julie that actually comments a lot? I think so, if I remember right, it was a Julie B. Let's see, hi Penny. Yay, I'm glad you caught me. This was a really spontaneous live I'm doing here and I'm having a heck of a time getting my tape off the roll here. I'm just taping down my paper because I'm gonna use quite a bit of water. I was on here playing with some landscapes and I thought we could paint together this little landscape here. I live in Chino Hills and the hills are filled with poppies a lot of the year. So I thought I might paint the hills and some of these poppies. So we're gonna be using a lot of wet and wet so we can get that washy background. We'll do some splatters, that'll be fun. And hopefully some of you will be on my Zoom class tomorrow. I'll be doing for beginners. Kind of excited about that. Okay, so what's kind of cool, what I do like, hi Kim, loving from, oh, Nevada, nice. Yeah, that is you, Julie. No, I love it. I love how you engage so much. Um, so anyway, one of the things, I don't usually tape down my paper, but I am going to be using a lot of water today. And it, right here, we're going to be using that gradiated wash. So that's why it's kind of important to learn how to do those. And then here, for more of our foreground, we'll use, <coughs> excuse me, guys, a, a wet and wet as well. But what I love about using tape that's kind of cool is you get this really fun border. I think that's really pretty. So I just painted this. It's a little bit wet still. But let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using my Degados. And I also found this little set I bought last year. And I think I'll use it. It's uh, by Zen Art Products. And I actually was originally drawn to her because it was a woman that started the company and you get a lot of really cool brushes and I like traveling with these little bamboo cases but I'm going to use the fine the really fine it's a four round it's kind of a cool little brush so I'll be using that for these tiny little uh, stems and things so let's go ahead and get started and by the way just because I have it sitting here I'm going to go ahead and use my Windsor Newtons hey Tina how are you girl from Kansas, Deborah from Quebec, New York. Awesome, awesome, you guys. I was trying to see how I could, hold on one second, guys, because I want to be able to see your uh, comments. As you know, I'm kind of tech, tech challenged, 
So give me a second here and let me see if I can find my, uh, let's see here. All right, I got it. There we go. Okay, now I can see your comments, I hope. Oh yeah, I can, awesome, okay. Deborah Lake from Kansas, Tina, Tina, Marie, oh, Jose Ferland, Quebec, Canada. I'm sure I just butchered your name. I'm so sorry. You guys have such a beautiful French accent. Montana, 45 degrees. Oh my goodness. Okay, so what I'm going to be doing, I'm just really playing today, and I figured I might as well go ahead and hop on, see who's here and do this little painting. So I'm gonna start with um, the top here. And I'm just going to do, just, I'm, you know, not doing anything real special here, actually, you guys. I'm just gonna use my ultramarine blue and start with a light wash at the top. <coughs> Excuse me. A lot of times I will go in wet and wet. Oh, thank you. Gosh, you know, I've had this tray for I don't even know how long. And I hate washing my trays, you guys, because I think they're so pretty. Okay, so what I did here is I'm just kind of creating a gradiated wash. Oh, my goodness, I have an ant crawling on me. It's kind of weird. Um, so this is the sky here. And then I'm just going to keep going down just with water. So I have created that gradiated wash. I might even add in a little bit more here and there. Don't want to get too crazy here because just wanted to do something simple. And just making the rest of my paper damp here. There we go. And then let's go in with, I've got, I'm gonna set my painting here I just did a few minutes ago so I can kind of follow it. I'm gonna go in with just some green. I tend to use an olive green and a sap green kind of mixed together. So I'm gonna use a variety of that, some variety of some sort of that, and just lay down some paint here. I like leaving these white spots because I think it's just interesting. And then what I'll do is go in with maybe a little bit of gold on my palette here. There we go. Just dabbing that in. This is such an easy little um, field of flowers. So that's it. That's all I'm going to do really for that. And then what I'm going to do next is go ahead. We have tons of poppies covering the hillsides here. So I'm going to pick up some of that orange. I had a little bit of orange and red mixed here. And let's cover the sky because we don't want poppies in the sky, right? And let's just go in while this is wet because we want these to be in the background and very light and washy. It could even be a little washier than that. And I'm going to start dropping in this paint. I like to do kind of this C curve at the bottom. I just think it's kind of an interesting look. So I'm gonna go in a little bit higher on the edges and then a little bit lower here. Okay, that's it. And I think I will go in because the poppies here are both a bright orange and then this gold color. So let's get a little bit of that gold yellow color on our brush here. And this is just the, those Degato brushes I use, you guys. Uh, where is my yellow ochre? It's at a little a bit of yellow ochre in there. But I really like that gold. And while it's wet, because we want these to be very washy, so they look like they're in the background. And as this dries, we'll go in and add more. 
I should show you guys this palette's decades old, but I have a palette, I'm not kidding you guys. It is from, um, it is from college days. And I'm no spring chicken, you guys. Hold on, my uh, iPod looks like it's gonna run out of juice here. Okay, so there we go. We've got kind of that field, that very far away field going on. Now let's go in here, and this is where I wanted to use this, um, thank you, Black Max Branning. Very kind of you. This is where I wanted to use that Zen Art brush. I love going through my supply cabinet and finding new, new supplies. It's so much fun. Actually, before we do that, let's do this. Let's, since this is drying a bit, and you guys can't see from there, but my paper is bubbling up a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, and it's cold here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna dry it a bit with my handy dandy little heat tool here. And I'll know it's dry because it'll flatten back out. Isn't that funny? So I just wanna dry it a tiny bit so that when I do some more splatters, they will be a little bit darker. So before I use my really fine brush, I'm gonna use this one and go in and let's just add a few more. So see that? See how they? it's not wet on wet, so they're a lot more vibrant. They look like they're up in front. And there you go. Okay, so if you can envision that, I'm gonna do a little bit of red too because I just love that color. So let's cover it one more time and just pop in a few bright red. There we go. And now, so I've got orange, I've got red, I've got a little bit of yellow ochre. Now I'm gonna go in and let's just mix some of that yellow and the orange. And I'm gonna go in and just kind of lay in. And you know what, you guys, what I'm really doing here is I'm kind of following the outline of those splatters that I put there. That's all I'm doing. I'm not even, you don't have to be real artistic. I share all the time, you guys. I'm not necessarily a fantastic drawer. I had a girlfriend in high school that literally could draw anything. She was like magic. She could draw faces, she could draw flowers, buildings. She was incredible. So look at this. I wish I could hold it up so you could see it, but I can't. Hey, Sylvia, good to see you from Sydney, Australia. Oh, girl, I am so ready to go there in Canada to do a weekend workshop. I would love it. Okay, look how cool that looks, you guys. And I literally, I just took my tiny little uh, brush and I just kind of followed around the washy splatters that I had there. So, you know, you don't have to have a ton of artistic ability. I just followed what was there. Now, that shape that I told you I really like, it's just me, is kind of this C shape. I just think it's so pretty. And notice in the background, I left some white. So that's just for interest. Now I might go in, let's just add in a tiny, love poppies, but have seen them. Oh yeah, we have tons of poppies around here in our hills. They're so beautiful, Julie. That's one flower we do have. Okay, so I'm just going in, just creating some interest here, letting everything kind of blend and mingle together. So there we go. Now let's go in with this little, like I said, this is a Zen art brush and I bought this last year cause I was really attracted to, I like traveling with these bamboo mats and it had a lot of fun brushes in it. Plus it's woman owned. She was a mommy and she started the company. So I like that. But um, 
I'm going to go in with my green. And I usually, you know, we all have our favorite greens. Just use whatever green you like and get some of that. I'm going to use a little darker value. So I don't want it too washy. And I'm just going to go in. Oh, you've never seen them in real life. Oh my gosh. Our hills here, I think I've shown a picture before. They become covered. It's like a blanket. They are just incredible. Like people travel from all over to see them. Our, during one time of the year, the hills at Chino Hills State Park are literally blanketed in them for months. And they're just so beautiful. So I'm going in with the tip of my brush. And any brush you have, you guys, this is a four round. Um, although I'd say in Princeton, it's going to be a little bit smaller, maybe a zero or a two. It just happens to be a four in Zen Art. I might even have a discount code for her. I'll check that out before I link. So I'm using the lightest, lightest pressure. Oh yeah, Julie, it is unbelievable. You have to look up Chino, Google Chino Hills, California, C-H-I-N-O. It's incredible. People come from all over. They do their wedding pictures, their um, family pictures. And I, I have, you can see them right behind me in my studio here. I was talking about, you know, having a studio that really inspires you. Boy, talk about inspiration, right? So I'm just continuing to go in. Now really, you know, go a little slower. I'm such an impatient painter that I want to just flick and put lines everywhere, but just go in. And again, I'm kind of creating this little circle here. Yeah, Google it, Julie. You'll be amazed. It's, um, the flowers are incredible. Lots more flowers, too. We are, it's a state park here. Chino Hills State Park. I'm pretty proud of it, as you can tell. I'm a hiker, so I have tons of pictures of these, um, these flowers. So I'm just using a very light touch. And there you go. Look at, even that is just gorgeous, isn't it? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to let that dry a little, and I'm just going to go in the background. I see I have a little thing of paint there. And I'm going to, and I feel like I might need some gold in here too. Um, hi, Ankit. Ankit. Um, let's go in the back and just create, because we have lots of hills. So I'm going to create some little hills. And I'm using, this color's in my palette, but it's kind of a combo of some grays, blues, and greens. And I'm just going to make some hills. Like that. Let's make another one here. We have lots of hills here, which I love, because I'm a hiker. So that's kind of my jam, guys. Last year at this time, I was getting up at 5.30 in the morning, if you can believe that. That's how much of a crazy hiker I am. And it was called the Sunset Hike, and there was a whole group of us, and we used to do that. But look at that. See, because of the color, so I mixed some green. You could even mix it with its opposite red, and it would come out in a beautiful... A kind of shadowy color because the mountains in the back are going to be much duller than they would be up in front here. There we go. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I'm getting in the mood to hike, you guys. It is too cold for me right now, which I'm, la I'm using that word lightly because I've had several of you tell me how cold it is by you. I think someone even said it was like 20 below or something? I, You guys, I don't even know what that feels like. I cannot even imagine. I, how do you do it? So there we go. I'm going to soften some of those lines because in the distance you wouldn't be able to see that. So look at how nice that is. Isn't that nice? And look how easy this was. Now I'm going to go in, and let's just make sure this is dry. 
and I'm just going to add in some darker green because your foreground is always going to be, um, make sure, is always going to be deeper and darker in color. So um, I'm just going to get a little bit of a washy wet color. Oh, look at this fun little thing, by the way. Paul Rubens gave me that too. Isn't that fun? It's a, a um, mountain range in China, I believe they said, but you rest your little brushes in there. I thought that was fun. I love gimmicky things, you guys, seriously. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this and I'm just going to touch in. Now watch how this pops forward. It makes you feel like you're standing in front of all of this. You don't wanna to cover too much because I like the white spaces. Let me pick up, see if I can grab. I need to work on my Windsor Newton palette here a bit. See if I can grab some of that dark green. And I'm just going to be laying that in front here. Maybe over here, but I really don't want to get rid of some of the white space. Four degrees in England. Oh my gosh, Julie. Oh, Chino Hills is gorgeous. Hot in Sydney. And I think uh, Sydney, Australia, you guys are in an opposite season than us. Is that right? It seems like I had some friends. I actually had a client at one time that was uh, in Sydney, Australia. And um, he would, uh, when I was, you know, going out to the beach, he was like, oh, we're inside, we're cold, we have the fireplace going. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that fun? Very pretty. Yeah, summer. That's what I thought. So when I put those colors in, it just pops it right out in front. So remembering your background is always going to be dull. It's going to be much more washy. Your mid-ground, maybe a little bit um, more defined. And then, of course, your foreground is going to have your most vibrant colors. Thank you, Julie. Um, and just as far as the techniques I use, for my sky and my background, I use a wet and wet because it's a very soft feel. And then for my um, mid-ground, I use more of a wet uh, on dry. And um, then my... I'm sorry, my mid-ground, and then my foreground, I just use a much darker value and probably a little bit more, uh, a, a little bit more wet on dry. Okay, the last thing, I'm gonna do two last things here and then we'll be done, is I feel like I wanna add a little bit of yellow here and there, and kind of watch where you're putting these colors because like, I, I think this is probably something you already know, but if you're gonna put yellow over here, you wanna put it over here, right? I'm sure you already know that, but. Because you wanna make sure all your red isn't on this side, otherwise your eye kinda goes there and it just stops. So I'm just, at, I love. you know what I love, you guys? What's so much fun in these groups we've all come together here in is you guys all talk between each other. I just love that. Sylvia, we have a few days coming up over 15. My goodness, don't know how you guys do that. Oh, thank you, Tina. Um, so I added in some yellow here and there. Just because I wanted to give it a little bit of pop. So there you go. The last thing I will do before I end here is I'm going to go into the uh, mid-ground and just add in a little. So it's dry and I'm gonna go in with a very washy pigment. So very light, if you need to check that, just check it. Yep. And I'm just gonna go into the back and add in a tiny bit more color. Don't wanna get rid of those whites, I love those. but just kind of like maybe a glow. There you go. And if you don't want a sunny Christmas, oh, isn't that crazy? 
it's kind of a bummer sometimes, Julie, because sometimes some of us want it to be real wintry. And it just isn't all the time in, in SoCal. Okay, so I think I'm about done here. Um, might just add in the very background maybe a few little trees here and there. Hopefully I don't ruin this now, guys. Sometimes I just need to stop. Stop when I'm ahead, right? Just a little bit of interest in the background. There we go. Sometimes it's those last minute little things that I'm like, oh wow, that, that like changed the whole painting. So I think actually with that, I'm going to stop. Um, so I hope you guys give this a try. Stacy, hey Stacy from Memphis. Jessica from Vermont. Ooh, beautiful. Never been to Vermont, would love to go there. Um, I'm so glad you're doing a landscape. Tina, you are right. Landscapes are a challenge for me. I don't know why. I, they just, I don't know why. Um, hi, Debbie from Memphis. My lifelong best friend in Santa Monica promised to take me to Chino. Oh, wonderful. You will love it. Oh my gosh. You will love Chino Hills, especially in the spring. All right, you guys. Well, I think I am done. Um, I hope you give this little painting a try. It's so much fun. And what a cute little card. Before we go, now normally I would tell you do not take off your tape before it, your paper is dry because sometimes you suck at art, but I'm practicing to get better. Awesome, Mirabelle. I bet you're not as bad as you think you are. I have had so many workshops where um, people come in and say, I can't paint or I paint like a two-year-old. And they're, I always say they're the sneaky ones. Those are the ones that come in and they walk, they're like amazing. So what I'm doing here is I'm removing the tape. Whenever you remove this masking tape, by the way, number one, let your paper dry. Otherwise it can peel up some of the pieces of paper and then slide it along like this and go slow. Those are my tips because otherwise, if you lift it up and pull, it tends to rip the paper. And if you go too fast, and you can use painter's tape. I hear people use wash, uh, washi tape, I think it's called. I always just use good old scotch tape. In college, we used to use scotch tape. Oh, thanks, Tina. I hope you'll give it a try. I bet you'll do great at it, Tina. You'll have to share in our little private group. So there you go, and I want to show you again what I do love about using tape, I think it's so fun, is look at this cool border it gives you. I always love that. It almost feels like a matting or something around the painting. So there you go. There is good old Chino Hills, and we used wet on wet. We used wet on dry. We did a gradiated wash here. Um, we did some splatter, lots of fun stuff. So I hope you guys will come back and look at this again and give it a try. All right, everybody, thanks for being here. So much fun seeing everybody from all over the world. And gosh, my dream is to come to your area one day and uh, paint and have a workshop and get to meet you guys. All right, everybody, thanks so much and happy painting.